the internet right now is, uh, God, it is a terrible place. It is a terrible, terrible place. Yeah, sure. There's great things about the internet. There's great things about technology. But right now, the internet is overran by people just hating on each other, treating each other like there's not humans on the other side of the phone, the computer, the laptop, the tablet, just yelling and barking at people and telling people that you hate them because they believe this or they believe that or, oh, you choose to eat this, so I fucking hate you. Wow, we got to get over this shit. Uh, today's this episode of the podcast, uh, episode 97, by the way, I want to talk about how you should be treating people on the internet and uh, something that just happened to me through just being nice to people on the internet. Now, this is something that I've seen like over and over again because I advertise a lot on the internet, right? Like I have Radium Records, you know, it was Radium Media and basically our business is all about servicing people in the music industry. We mix and master for people. We produce records for people, uh, for other labels, for um, write music for commercials, write music for TV, film, you know, sync licensing, all that good stuff. Uh, now I'm releasing my own records and trying to, you know, sign over songs and stuff and, and release those records with other artists, right? And you have to advertise. You have to break through the noise. And one of the ways that I use uh, the internet to advertise and to market and connect with people is I do like uh, funnels, right? So through ClickFunnels or Kajabi, if you know either of those, you should check them out. They're both great tools to connect with people. And I sell certain products, things that I really believe in. Like, for example, we have a Logic Pro producer pack, which is like channel strips from my computer, from stuff I've worked on from like the Lego movie, 22 Jump Street, g Easy Records, Marty Grimes, rappers from the Bay Area, singers, songwriters, my own records, uh, mixing presets for drums, for vocals, for all that good stuff, right? And then also some sample packs and kits and things like that and some additional bonus stuff. And we have one for Pro Tools. And then I have a song creation formula. And I won't bore you with all the products that, that I have and that I've developed over the last four years, but those are really cool tools for me to connect with people. OK, and within my funnels, there's steps to the funnel. So if you buy something for like 19 bucks, it's going to offer you a chance to jump on a phone call with me or get on a Zoom call with me and talk about music. Let me see if I can help you out. Right. I've been doing this for 23 years. Um, I've been in the in the space. I've been on advertising calls. I've made thousands of, of tracks and music and mixed and mastered for all sorts of people. I got some credits, so I want to help people out. Right. As you naturally progress through your career, I think you'll kind of get to the same point where you go, wow, I've I've made the six figures a year. I've done this thing. I make enough money where I'm like, I'm happy. I got I got time and I'm, I'm buying gear and it's fun. Right. And I love music. So you get to a certain point. You're like, now what do you just keep making records? You keep making music, of course. But there's other stuff that you want to do as well. So you start shooting content, right? <laughs> I don't want to just sit in the studio by myself all the time. I want to talk to people and connect with people. So the other day, this uh, this kid went through my one of my funnels. Uh, this was months ago, actually. Probably about six months ago to a year. I'm not really sure. But he went through my funnel. He ended up getting, you know, for $47, he um, got one of my packages where we do a Zoom call with him for 30 minutes and stuff. And I get on the Zoom call with him and he's telling me about his band and everything. And he's like, yeah, and you know, because of the coronavirus and the COVID thing, um, we just haven't been touring and we've been hard. It's been really hard to like make money and, and we're trying to figure out how do we monetize our records? How do we make more records? Th this kid had stuff signed with Sony. He had big labels, all this stuff. And I, I couldn't believe it. I was like talking to this guy and I'm like, wow, dude, you're young, right? And you're you're successful. Your band's doing well. He's got like over 100,000 real monthly listeners on his Spotify. Not some of you guys fucking botting all your shit, um, which is stupid, by the way. Don't do that shit. Uh, but I was like, wow, you, you got something going on. You're selling records. You're getting streams and you're opening for big bands and you're playing cool shows, right? But he was like, yeah, the streaming money or, you know, the streaming money is not as good as the tour money and selling merch and stuff. So I had the conversation with him for 30 minutes. I tried to help him as much as I could. Recorded the call, sent him the recording, all that stuff. Months later, like literally like it was maybe like a couple weeks ago, I 
I got on the the Roku smart TV, right? And did what I always do. I try to find some sort of music documentary or something to watch because I just can't watch just any bullshit TV. And I found the Foo Fighters uh, documentary where they're they're going around, they're talking about touring and they're talking about their vans and like how that whole that whole thing works. And there's all these different bands in the documentary. And dude pops up as one of the bands in this documentary with the Foo Fighters. And I'm like, dude, this is crazy. So I text him and I'm like, yo, congrats on the uh, documentary with Dave Grohl and the Foo Fighters and stuff. That was, that's awesome, dude. I just saw you on this documentary. You know, I'm so proud of you. That's awesome. And he's like, yeah, man, it's been crazy. We went on tour with the Foo Fighters and like things have just been so rad. Like it was so fun and we just had a great time. And, you know, we just got to talking and connecting because that's what I love to do. I love to connect with other creatives. Like, that's why you get into music. You don't get into this to make a million dollars. And if you did, like, good luck. Good fucking luck. I hope you do make a million dollars. I mean, you know, cool. But I didn't get into it to make a million dollars. I got into it because I, I absolutely adore music and artists and songwriting and musicians and musicianship and writing great songs and producing and all this stuff, making stuff. And so I connected with this kid and and uh, just such a good dude. His name's Darian, by the way. And um, he's a lead singer, guitar player uh, of this band Radkey. And shout outs uh, to you if you're watching this, by the way. Uh, so the other day, I'm like, you know, texting him and stuff. And then he hits me back like a little bit later and he goes, hey, yeah, you know what? We're playing a show with the Foo Fighters at the Forum in LA. You live in LA, right? And I'm like, yeah, man, I live in Hollywood. And he's like, hey, so... You want me to get you on the list? I think I probably can get you on the list. And I'm like, dude, that would be super dope. So he gets me on the list for a pl with a plus one and a VIP guest list. I get like last night. This was last night we went to the show at the forum. It was incredible. It was sold out. 18,000 people in the forum. We got, uh, you know, on the floor, we get our own little, you know, VIP suite area. All the food's free. There's like, it's just amazing. It's such a cool spot and such a cool vibe and what a gift. And those gifts don't come to you. And this is my point in this whole story is like those gifts don't come to you when you get online and you dog people and you talk negative about people and you go and hit their comment section and say, oh, you're full of shit. You don't know these people. You know how many like hate comments I get on like the advertising stuff I run where I'm like, Hey, get a free logic pro session with a tutorial. If you click that link and people will put on there, like templates don't work. Presets don't work. This guy's full of shit. And I'm like, where do you guys come up with this stuff? And why would you do that? The music industry, the music business is very small. It's a small knit community. You might think that it's big because you got the internet and you think like, oh, the internet, you know, I can do and say whatever I fucking want to say. But my point is you have to really think about who you're connecting with. Like, did I think that I would be connecting with this kid like months ago and then be showing up because he gets me on a guest list for his show and I'm in the VIP area of the Foo Fighters show at the forum that's sold out? Like, mind you, tickets for that show, like, they were sold out, but you could probably get them for, like, $400 a pop. You know what I mean? Um, and that's not including the VIP stuff and the treatment and the the food and all the, the, the cool stuff that goes along with that. So you have to really keep keep that in your mind when you're on the Internet. Keep that on your mind when you're responding to posts or you're, you're commenting on someone's stuff or you're, you know, blasting someone online for not paying you your $10 or, you know, telling someone that they're a piece of shit and they don't know what they're talking about or arguing with them about something that you don't actually even live yourself or being pissed because you're a washed up musician, your career is washed up as a producer, an engineer or whatever, and you see someone selling presets or giving away something for free and then you laugh at them and say, oh, that guy's an idiot without even understanding even who they are. Like most of those guys that put the hate comments on my shit, they never look me up. They never give me an opportunity to even talk to them. They don't DM me. They don't go like, hey, saw your ad. It's kind of kind of interesting, you know, like why are you doing that? They don't ask me those questions. They just put a comment on there. This guy's a full of shit or laugh my ass off. This is all bullshit. This is a scam. <laughs> it's my favorite thing. This is a scam. Must be a scam. You know, you guys got to get, you got to get your head and your heart out of your asshole. 
Like straight up, just stop being a fucking dickhead. And I think that goes a long way. It goes so far just being a common sense human being that cares about other human beings and understands that you're online connecting with people. And honestly, I think a big part of why people started getting so disconnected with the human humanistic approach of like talking to people online is because first of all, there's like a guard, right? You could just like block people. It's like, oh, you don't agree with me. I'm a Republican and you're a Democrat. So fuck you, you know, like uh, that. Oh, I'm just going to block you. I don't want to see any of your stuff. I don't want I'm going to block you and I'm going to report you to Instagram, you know, because your beliefs aren't my beliefs. You know, you're not going to get the vaccine. You're a piece of shit. Oh, you are getting the vaccine. You're a piece of shit. <laughs> it's, it's incredible how we've simplified human beings into a yes or no, red or blue, black or white statement. It's insane. And in music and in art, I would hope if you're an artist or creative in any sense, you have the capacity in your brain. You have that creative part of your brain that's able to go a little bit further than just oh, your political beliefs or who you want to be in office for your state or your federal government. Oh, if you decide that, then I hate you. Or I love you because of it. Because <laughs> you agree with me. Oh, thank you. I only like people that agree with me. So this podcast, like, I really didn't want to, like, go off on a tangent or anything. I just want to tell that story and help you guys realize that every time you get online, even when you're watching this right now, on whether it's on IGTV or it's on YouTube, and you're going, this guy's full of shit, and click this and put a thumbs down and you're a piece of shit and put a comment on there, or just, just tell someone that this is the stupidest thing you've ever heard or seen. Before you do all that, like just think about like, hey, what if I was your best friend? What if I was your brother, right? What if I was your dad? What if I was your pappy, right? Just think about this. like people are more complex than just what they think about government or politics or what they think about what kind of music they like or how they would process their kick drum. You know what I'm saying? So just, just please put that into consideration before you put any comments on something or you spam someone or you DM someone, you know, negative shit or you block somebody because you don't agree with them. You know, why don't you try and understand where they're coming from? Why don't you have a conversation? I think like what we're missing right now, not just in the music industry, but in the world online is the ability to listen and hear people. And I think if you're going to be in music, you're going to be a music producer, you're going to be an audio engineer, you're going to be a mixing engineer, a mastering engineer. This is what you do. You fucking listen. That's your job. You have to... You have to spend so much time listening. But for some reason, we forget to listen to each other. We forget to listen to each other's opinions and try to understand each other and try to have a conversation and try to get inspired or figure out a story through that or maybe write a song about it. I don't know. If you're so creative, I think you could probably do that, right? Anyway, thanks for tuning in. I really appreciate you guys always sharing the podcast, um, showing love for the podcast. And... I guess like my final thoughts on this is just every time you bump into somebody or you connect with someone new, you really don't know what could happen. So be nice to that person. Talk to them with respect. Treat them like treat them like they're going to be a living legend in five years. Treat them like they're going to be selling out the forum in five years. You know, Have some respect with everybody you talk with, regardless of what they believe in or what they do, right? And uh, just try to... Try to have some empathy. I think empathy is dying. Like, put yourself in people's shoes. Try to understand where they're coming from. Try to understand how they grew up, you know, and, and maybe their political views might have came from something that is kind of outside of their control. And you don't need to bash them for it. And stay kind. Stay positive. And stay networking. Stay collaborating. And uh, I don't think you need to be humble in any sense. Uh I, I think humility is important, but I don't think you need to like, yo, bro, be humble. I don't, I don't think that's like super necessary to talk about because I, I don't think you need a bunch of humility to be in music. But I do think you need to listen and have empathy and, and try to understand people, regardless of whether you believe or agree with them or whatever they're doing 
Um, if they're advertising online to build their business um, as a musician, as an artist, as a producer, as an engineer, then uh, try to understand how they're doing that, why they're doing it, and maybe you should try to learn from them, right? Hey, maybe you could get in on it, right? Maybe you could get those uh, VIP, you know, tickets to the next big concert that you want to go to. Da baby, little baby, whatever. You know, it's it's up to you. It's up to you how you treat people, and uh, don't take things so seriously. Like you can joke around online too. Like there's no sarcastic like font. There's no, you know, you can say stuff like "Hey, fuck off, buddy," and people don't have to get so butt hurt about it. <laughs>